Oh, that's Betty. Oh, I love it. He also walked off a broken neck. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it. Wait, what? Can we all just for a second wish that we had spines of steel like this man. Hey everybody, my name is Katie Sauter. I am an engineer by day, a wedding planner by night, and I'm going to tell you a little about a little wedding drama that's happening on the Reddit. If we can't learn anything from it, we are going to give it the big bat. Solder seal of failure. This one's titled, am I the a-hole for keeping my wedding venue a secret from her sister? Okay, um, holding judgment. I'm in a bit of a pickle and could use your judgment. Please do not hesitate to give me your honest opinions. Here's the sitch. My biological father, 50, who I am estranged from and has absolutely no contact with, is really obsessed with me, like stalker level. Something I can't pronounce, sort of obsessed. In the past, my sister, 27, not out of malice, but due to her carelessness, has given him information about my whereabouts and activities, despite my explicit instructions not to. What did it start from the sister? Once again, I don't think she was being malicious. She just genuinely is a very bubbly and excitable person, which I can relate to that. She gets excited about my achievements, etc., then blurts out what I'm doing completely thoughtlessly. She does this with a lot of stuff with a lot of people. This has led to several not so great moments and confrontations. Not wanting to read for your sister? Benefit of the doubt, still. Now I'm about to get married. Given the past incidents, I've decided not to share any details of the wedding venue with my sister. She knows the date and has been instructed to be ready by a certain time, at which point my mom and stepdad will pick her and her boyfriend up and bring them to the ceremony. I think this is a really good compromise so far. This is purely to prevent any information from reaching my biological father. My sister is quite upset by this. I get that that makes sense she feels like i'm treating her like a child and she's arguing that she should have the autonomy to drive herself and leave whenever she wants she insists that she's learned from her past mistakes i can totally see her sister's frustration with this right off the bat however i'm really concerned that she might slip up and mention the venue to our father who 100 percent would show up uninvited causing a scene to put it mildly he has a history of being disruptive and I worry he might try to confront slash fight my fiance or insist on walking me down the aisle, both of which would be very distressing for anyone involved. To me, it's bad enough I can't keep the wedding a secret because now I have to assume he knows and is looking for me. That's not good. That's, that's just not good. I understand my sister's frustration, but I feel like I'm in a no-win situation. On one hand, I want to keep my wedding day peaceful and focused on celebrating with my fiance and loved ones. On the other hand, I hate that I have to resort to such measures and cause tension with my sister. Ah, oh, poor thing. Yeah, I mean, but you gotta, you gotta protect yourself, babe. You, you just, you gotta protect yourself. So far, Definitely an NTA. Also, security is being hired, but I'm not super confident in them being able to stop my six foot seven inch dad when he's on a warpath. Yeah, there's the tall glass wall. This tall. I've seen him quite literally grab a full grown man and huck them like a hay bale when he was playing. To say nothing if he thinks he has a goal. He also walked off a broken neck somehow, along with multiple other serious injuries after a car accident. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it. I could have been. Wait, what? Can we all just for a second wish that we had spines of steel like this man apparently has because um i don't know about you but one of my biggest fears is becoming paraplegic i wouldn't mess with him at all so am i the a-hole for not trusting my sister with the details of my wedding venue until the day of the wedding there is an update but before we do the update, shameless plug time, I have a wedding planning timeline if you are planning your wedding. If you're not planning your wedding, well, we'll just, you know, skip ahead for 10, 10 seconds, you know, whatever. But I have a full wedding planning timeline to help you plan your wedding from start to finish for roughly a 12 month timeline. Shameless plug time over. All right, time for the update. We met up at my mom's and my sister and I talked. The car issue is indeed because of her boyfriend's social anxiety and she's willing to ride with mom and stepdad there and Uber back. We started to argue about my lack of trust in her and some things came up. 
So it turns out my sister was partially unaware of the full extent and gravity of the situation and swallowed my dad's narrative hook, line, and sinker. Oh, you sound so manipulative. I don't blame the sister for doing that. She sounds sweet, excitable, bubbly kind of thing. And she doesn't sound malicious. She's not the asshole for falling for manipulative people. I don't blame her for being butthurt though. It's fascinating in a horrifying way seeing your own life and lived experiences described through a completely different lens. While her past blabs were not intentional or cruel, they were done with an ignorant carelessness. I corrected what I could, but she didn't believe a lot until I started directing her to witnesses, our stepmom being a big one. My sister started to get hysterical and had to leave, waiting on the situation to calm down some before I continue addressing it and or preparing for any changes. It can be hard looking in the mirror, especially when other people are kind of getting up on you like that. I could imagine that would be really hard, but you know, it sounds like this might've been necessary. I haven't had time to talk about her social media or phone, but considering she has blamed my mom for everything and asked me to forgive my dad before revelations fully came to light, things are looking complicated to say the least. Oh, that's a tough one. I think she's doing the right thing. I think you gotta protect yourself first especially if your dad is like that. Hurting your sister's feelings might just have to be the price to pay. Safety is always number one, no matter what. You've gotta wear those safety glasses against that ridiculousness. Discount underscore mithril says, not the a-hole. Everyone deserves to feel safe from a stalker no matter what. If your sister can't be trusted with info concerning keeping you safe, then she doesn't get to have that info. My worry is she will get it from someone else though. Yeah, how do you keep it secret? That's really tough. OP writes, I don't think so. Her past blurting incidents were dramatic AF. So my mom and stepdad are PO'd and very mindful about that. She's not close and doesn't know most of my friends. Regardless, I've told all of my friends not to give her any info. She asks them a question, no matter how innocuous, send her to me. My fiance's family is aware of the situation and they are legitimately the most mindful people I've ever met. So I'm pretty sure they'll stay mum. And that seems like a very British thing to say. I think that's honestly probably the best way to go. I think honestly, OP is, is actually handling this really well. And if there's anything to be learned from this story, do what OP is doing, because that's probably the most effective thing to keep the stalker out of your wedding. The Destroyer 229 says, not the a-hole. While your sister may say she's learned from her mistakes, you have zero proof that she has done so. She has in the past broken your trust when it comes to sensitive information and she hasn't regained that trust. There's nothing wrong with the compromise you've given as the alternative is that she doesn't get to go to your wedding at all. It may suck for her, but she needs to regain more trust. Better to leave her in the dark than for your dad to barge in and ruin your wedding day. Itty Bitty Kitten says you can remind her that her choice, whether or not she's going to attend your wedding, it's your wedding, not hers. OP writes, I think part of her concern is that her BF has a really bad social anxiety and my parents are generally the first to arrive, last to leave sort. But but she hasn't outright said this. This is just an assumption on my part. Yeah, still, I think she's in the right. She needs to protect her safety first. Excellent count 4009 says, not the a-hole. Why don't you let your A-H sister accidentally overhear that your wedding will be a long drive away and a destination six hours away? <laughs> oh, that's Betty. Oh, I love it. Then implore her not to spill that address to your dad because it is very important that he does not find it. I cannot imagine Imagine a better way to make sure that your address reaches your dad. Seems to be a very good way to make sure your dad will be at that address. And if he needs six hours back to your real venue, that would be a win. Use your sister's betrayal to your benefit. You know she will tell him. I'm so petty, I love it. Oh no, no, that would be great. The petty person in me sorely tempted to do this, says OP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I think it's really smart. I know it's petty, but like it's smart. I think this might be the best way to at least alleviate some of those concerns. She might feel betrayed afterward. So maybe that's not always the good thing. So think that through before doing something like that. So overall, Reddit has deemed OP at the a-hole. And I agree. Did we learn anything from this? Did this get the solder seal of failure? I think that this does. Not because this was a bad story, but I don't 
actually feel like I learned anything from this other than you gotta, you just gotta protect yourself. You gotta always protect yourself first and foremost. So even though we learned very little today about actually planning a wedding, I have a story about a bride and groom who refused to feed their guests. Go check it out here, learn more. Did that get the solder seal of failure? find out. I also have a freebie if you are planning a wedding that includes a full timeline for 12 months of planning. Just check it in the description below. Boop that like and kiss that subscribe, but keep it PG for me, okay?